Okay, so this is our energy reading for this week. So the week of December 18th. And let's say it's going to be for next week as well, because I am not sure I'm going to be doing one of these on Christmas. So, and yes, I am in bed. I thought either do the reading from bed or don't do it at all. Those were kind of the choices today. So here we are. All right, so I'm gonna clear the cards and just ask what, yeah, what does the collective who's gonna be watching this video, what is most needed for the next couple of weeks? Whoa, something jumped. Cool, okay. I'll leave that to the side. But this one, nope, not that one. Um, so this is going to be, I guess, really for the rest of the year, for the rest of 2018 and the rest of December. And what I've been getting, um, what I've been getting a lot of is this time is about rest and rejuvenation. This is about really allowing ourselves to integrate this really intense year that many of us have had. And this is about allowing ourselves to become new because we are clearing old patterns like, like, whoa, like, holy whoa, Batman, we are clearing old patterns right now. So we are responding to things differently than we used to. We are responding to relationships differently. We're responding to challenges differently. We're responding to, I haven't really spoken much today, and I feel like that's becoming very obvious. <laughs> well, this is good, because I have an activate session in about half an hour. So you're warming me up. Thank you. Um, this is really about allowing yourself to exist differently in the world because we really are in a new and different energy right now and and it can feel like quite a roller coaster it can feel challenging it can feel intense um, I feel like I've had a number of breakdowns over the past few months but every time I've allowed myself to crack open, something new has come through. Something really sweet has come through or really powerful has come through. And that's, that's really beautiful. It's a lot of fun, actually, when we can kind of resign ourselves <laughs> to that kind of flow right now. Um, because what's on the other side of allowing ourselves to have these feelings and these experiences is a new way of doing things, a way that serves you in a much better way it serves your purpose uh it's it's like your higher self is coming through you more and you're responding from that space rather than and it's not even it's not the dichotomy of human self versus higher self it's it's about being your higher self in your human self. It's about a really lovely blend of the two. Because of course, if you wanted to just be your higher self, you would just be off in the cosmos floating around etherically, I guess, you know, but you chose to be here in a human body. And so, you know, it's not about becoming completely our higher selves. It's about that meeting of the two in our humanity. So that said, let's continue to... Oh, let's continue to see what wants to come through for the rest of 2018. I'm just kind of idly shuffling cards now. <laughs> I'm already on vacation. This is sort of how it's going right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this is going to be for the current energy. Ooh, and this is going to be for love. Okay, lovely. So... So the first card that just jumped right out was the soulmates card reversed. So what I'm getting from this card, and then I'll see what the maker of the deck actually intended for this card. What I'm getting for this card is that it's like relationships are being turned on their head. Something that you expected to happen is not happening, but you're seeing how perfect that is. How much more that opens you up into something new, whether it's something new with another person, if this is romantically, or it's something new within your relationship. Um, we're, we're being turned on our heads and things are, it's like things are shaking out. Like if you, you know, you picked up a kid and this probably isn't recommended, um, 
Child Protective Services might have a word with me if I tried to do this, but you pick up a kid by, <laughs> by his ankles, turn him upside down and shake him until all the coins in his pockets fall out. That's sort of what I'm seeing um, is happening in our relationships. And so it's opening us up to something new, um, either within that relationship or in another relationship. And that's really lovely. It feels really good, actually. And and I don't get that this is even just for romantic relationships. This might be for um, friendships or for family. And of course, we're heading into Christmas where, you know, I think many of us can feel like we're being shaken <laughs> until all the coins fall out of our pockets. Um, but if, if you're feeling challenged in that way, know that just kind of letting the coins fall and just kind of relaxing, you know, as you're being shaken will allow the sweetness to come through. So let's see what actually wants to be said about this card. I'm just going to look it up. 41, 41, where are you? 41 with the penguins. These, I love these cards. There are so many animals on them and the penguins are great. Okay. So soulmates reversed. Ooh, yep, here we go. An important relationship brings you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns and all your old stories that don't serve your well-being enter into this dynamic so you can heal them. This person is called to a sacred task to help you learn, even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky, or even inconceivable. The question is not, why did he or she do this to me? But rather, what is the gift in this? Look into this mirror. You will only be changed for the better. Sweet. All right. So that's fun. So for the general energy for the rest of the year, I'm getting ta -da, time to go. So this is the, you can't really sit there with me. See if I can get that. So the, yeah, <laughs> the time to go card. So. Okay, so general energy, time to go. This card, what am I getting? Yeah, okay, it's time to leave your old self behind. It's time to recognize that you, every, it's like every morning is, every minute is a possibility and the chance to approach things from a fresh perspective, with fresh eyes, with a sense of, I don't need to hold on to the past. I can just step into what's here for me now and be my whole true divine human self in this moment. It doesn't matter what I've done in the past. It doesn't matter what I'll do in the future. This is my moment. This is a new moment and it's perfect. So it's really, it's like we're leaving our old selves behind. Okay, so what is actually being said about this card? Okay, essential meanings, endings, completion, walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn or experience, which is kind of perfect for the end of the year. Okay, the Oracle's message. You are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. Transition feels really important right now, and it's not just the transition from one year to the next. Um, the transition is really about... It almost feels like we're stepping out of a really big healing cycle and into a being cycle. So it's like we don't have to keep healing. We don't have to keep beating our heads against that like spiritual wall of I must fix this. We get to just be now. We get to just be in our experience. We get to just be in our feelings. We get to just be in whatever we've created for ourselves, knowing that our desires are constantly creating something new. And we can just be within the experience of that creation, the experience of what we've already created, and the experience of knowing what we want to create is coming. We can just be there. We don't have to strive for anything. We don't have to rush for anything. We don't have to be all sticky around, I haven't gotten it yet. We just get to be. And this is a really new experience, a new energy for a lot of us. So this, yeah, this feels like a really beautiful card. Um, 
for the end of this year. And it also feels like part of this is around um, allowing ourselves to rest, you know, rejuvenate. I think that's come up in this reading. Uh, that's been coming up a lot for me in the sessions I've done one-on-one -on -one with people individually. There's a lot of, okay, now is the time to rest, time to rejuvenate, time to prepare, because 2019 is going to be really big. Um, even starting from the first of the year, uh, a little bit before that, depending on where you are in the energy cycles, things are going to be really beginning to move forward. And so now when it's, you know, people are kind of stepping away from their usual routine for the holidays, now's a really beautiful time to get as much rest and rejuvenation as you can, which may not feel, po depending on, you know, what your life circumstance is, that might not feel super possible if there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And you're like, rest and rejuvenation? Thanks, that's not happening. <laughs> But rest and rejuvenation can come from allowing yourself to, to not worry, not think about things in the same way. That's where that, that new perspective, that every moment is a chance to, uh, to be new, to experience things in a new way. That's where that really comes in beautifully because we're able to do that now. We're able to you know rest into our heart and allow the brain to quiet we're able to be very present in our bodies and with our experience. And that, you know, no matter what you're doing, no matter how hectic your life is, that is a pretty profound experience of peace when we can just rest in ourselves, even as we're taking whatever action needs to be taken in whatever crazy malls it needs to be taken in, depending on where you are with your Christmas shopping. So the relationship message that came through is no place like home. And I'm getting what I'm getting for this is this is about your relationship with yourself. You are at home in your own body, at home in your own soul. And that is we're like, we're like turtles, you know, we carry our home around with us. And so it's so tempting to look for home in somebody else, look for home in our children, look for home in a partner, look for home in a best friend. But we are our own home. You are your own home. I am my own home. And the more we can really just kind of like sink into that and just kind of, you know, roll around in it and just feel how at home we are in our hearts and our bodies, that sets us up really beautifully um, to, to feel supported and at home so that then we can bring that experience of love, support, and beauty into, into the relation, into the, you know, into the relationships. Um, we can carry that with us. So that feels really nice for this week. So again, I'm going to read the actual thing. I'm going to read the actual thing. Okay. No place like home. Authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. Okay, I feel like I'm really like, really hitting these cards on the nose with what, <laughs> with what the book actually says. That's kind of fun. Okay, Oracle's message. Home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create, a place that is known and you can call yours. This card signals that your ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and in dignity and integrity, aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in the house of your spirit. And capital S, spirit. Okay, so the relationship message, because this was for the relationship energy. Lovers, friends, and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and full of love, and you can be secure in the knowledge that it is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort, and the best aspects of familiarity now. Be home in this relationship. Together you add to the love of the world. That's lovely. Thank you, cards. Let's see, is there anything else that wants I'm just seeing? You know what? I'm going to draw, feels like I want to draw an animal card for, um, of course, I didn't bring the, didn't bring the booklet for this one, but that's all right. We'll just see what, what I get. Um, yeah, I'm going to draw an animal card. So this is going to be 
an animal guide, if you like to work with animal guides, an animal guide for the rest of the year, the, the remainder of 2018. Ooh, I got two. All right. Ah, the owl. The owl and the crow. Bird energy, taking flight. Okay. So the crow really feels to me um, like it's connecting with spirit connecting with the divine and yourself as the divine. It's about hearing your higher self, hearing the messages that are constantly coming through for you. Um, the crow is a really, a really sacred animal. And so I love that it's showing up for us for this, this final space of the year. And then the owl. Okay. For me, it feels like this is about being able to see all perspectives, being able to see from all angles, um, and knowing that you have the wisdom you need inside. You don't need to go find it in other places. You don't need to find it in other people. Um, you don't need to go anywhere but inside yourself. And, you know, of course, sometimes it can help to receive messages from others because sometimes that's how we hear ourselves. We hear ourselves through the words of others. But know that if, you know, a message is coming to you from someone else or coming to you from a space um, outside of yourself and it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel good, you don't have to listen to that. You can listen to your own feelings. You can listen to your own wisdom. Um, and... Also, it feels like this card is 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 saying that there's nothing to be feared from the darkness. If you're feeling it, like you're in a dark aspect of your life right now, there's nothing to fear. And you can rest into your own heart, rest into your own body, rest into your own soul, and you will be taken care of and protected. You are so much more powerful than most of us often realize. We are all so powerful and so capable of caring for ourselves in those intense emotions, in those intense phases of life, in that darkness. We are capable of leading ourselves out of the darkness and knowing that you, your heart shines a light your heart shines a light in the darkness. So oh, this also feels like it's connected to the winter solstice, which is coming in up in a couple of days, at least if you're in my hemisphere. Maybe you're another hemisphere and another solstice is coming up. But for the winter solstice, it's really about being at home in the dark and feeling cozy and warm in the dark, I think, and knowing that you are even brighter in the darkness than you are in the light. Crow and owl. Isn't that nice? Thanks, guys. Thanks, crow. Thanks, owl. So if you hear the owl hooting or any crows cross your path, they're just they're saying hi. They're reminding you of all of these, these things that are coming through. So, all right. Let's see. Is that good? Yeah, this is good. This is good for, uh, for the rest of this year. So... I might get on and do another one of these um, before the year is out, but I don't think so. I think I think this is it. But I will be back in January with a new one. And I'm sending you all so much love. And thank you for watching this. I appreciate that. Because if you keep watching them, I'll keep doing them. As long as they are helpful. So, mwah, see you next time.